land uh, in places like this is because of the, uh, you know, the, the, the property laws in, in China, you know, it's, it's all, there's no, there's not the sense of like private property, right? So the Chinese people are coming here and buying up land and he's saying it has to do a lot with um, safe the security as well as pride reasons. So that's why like he's saying that some of the JG people are actually, you know, they understand that, you know, why this, this transition is happening. Um, but at the same time, it's really unfair that, uh, that the Korean people uh, are, are given less of a respect um, by the government than, than the, the Chinese. So yeah. the, the uh, Chinese that are coming here, are they uh, working on this? Oh no, they're not working here. They're just basically coming here to buy land. It's it's oh, like a uh, but at this at the same time, they're all also uh, like lots of businessmen who come to uh, especially places like Jeju, and then they basically buy up all our perfumes and like our makeup and stuff like that, and then they sell it in China to make huge profits. Um, so that's why Jeju itself has like special laws that make it easier for the for like foreign business to come. Yeah, so it's more of a free market here, yeah. Special laws. And do Chinese have to have visas to come to Jeju Island? He's on a pinot. Yeah, I think the new visa. Yeah. It's a free. Yes, but if you if you like invest about half a million dollars to a company, then you get a permanent residency. So you, you're almost half a Korean if you have enough money. Yeah, That's enough. why the Chinese love to you know come to Jeju because of such property which is not allowed in the mainland of China. So yeah. the, the problem uh, of the current Jeju Island is not only about the possibility of a militarization of the island, but also the developing capitalism. You know, so we are suffer in both ways. We call it economic warfare. So we call it economic warfare. Economic warfare. Yes, yes. One is military warfare with militarization, oh. and the other one is yeah. almost as bad. Yeah. Okay. Economic warfare. Right. Yes, Basically, yes. it results in oppression right. and, and poverty for the, for the people. Thank you. Can can they, can they turn the heat down a little bit? Let's, uh, a little yeah, little. please. It's too warm in here. He says it's too cold. It's already yeah, cold. Yeah, yeah. Okay, fine, fine, fine. We're all going to take our clothes off. <laughs> oh, my God. First of all, it's too cold. Just to put him in the middle. So, anyway. Do you want to turn it low? Yeah, we can turn it low. Yeah, yeah. Two choices. Two choices. If people are hot, there are vents up here that let cooler air in. If I if I can kind of continue, I'm, I'm, sure you guys know, I'm sure you guys know about this, but um, like what's happening in Jeju is like a microcosm of what's happening in Korea. So the South Korean government is really playing, like is walking a very fine line between supporting China and supporting uh, the U.S. So for example, the, I mean the TPP is the greatest example, the, the Trans-Pacific Partnership. I'm sure you guys yes. know. Oh. Yeah, so oh. Korea hasn't joined the TPP, even though everybody suspected that it should, that it, it is going to join. But one of the reasons why it didn't join was because it wanted to complete an FTA with China, uh, but they didn't want to upset, uh, like upset China by just joining the TPP right ahead. So that's one of like one exemplification of like <coughs> how Korea is trying to pacify both the U.S. and China, but. One thing, what's going to happen is that it can't do, it can't support both at the same time, like uh, in the future. You know, it's going to be harder for them to do that. So the question is, what's going to happen? Like, who's, where is Korea going to side, and what are the consequences of that? So it is really the battle between the political and the economic, and who's going to win? We're not quite sure yet. Yeah, I mean, how much of a sellout is Korea going to be?